In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the various features available inside our Anatomy Builder. As you may be aware, the Anatomy Builder is the primary tool used to add or remove body parts to your scene. The Anatomy Builder can be dragged by clicking and dragging on the top title bar, and it can be expanded by clicking and dragging on the lower right hand corner. Furthermore, you can double click on the upper bar to expand it, and then double clicking again will dock it and contract it. The Anatomy Builder gives you a couple ways to access the anatomy. In the region view, indicated down here by this switch, you see we are presented with the regions of the body and then the systems underneath those regions. So for example, if I was interested in the, say, the skeleton of the left lower limb, I would come down here to the left lower limb section and then click on skeletal. And you can see now the leg has been loaded. Similarly, if I wanted to add the right lower limb, I would click on here. And now both lower limbs are shown. And I can keep adding anatomy as I need to. Alternatively, I can load things from predefined groups. So by flipping this switch down here, I can switch over to the group view. Here are the groups we have available. So for example, if I want to add the heart to this sim, I would click on here. And you can see the heart has been added. Turning off anatomy is similar to turning it on. You can see, for example, in this situation, I have the intestines on. If I want to turn those off, I simply click on them and they go away. Similarly, in the regions, I can turn off the muscles of the left leg by clicking here. It should be noted that the objects in the groups are not mutually exclusive to that particular group. So for example, if I were to turn on the stomach here, and then move over to the region section and turn on the abdomen digestive, which includes that stomach. If I were to come back to the groups now and turn off the stomach, it wouldn't necessarily turn off the stomach itself because we still have the digestive group open. In the anatomy builder, we also have the ability to turn on several items by scrubbing. So for example, if I wanted to turn on these four items, these five items in the upper limb, what I would do is I would click on skeletal and then drag down and then release on lymphatic. And you'll see it is turned on all those things at the same time. Similarly, I can turn them all off by scrubbing down again. The C button, located down here in the lower left hand corner of the anatomy builder, allows me to clear all shown anatomy with one click. The Anatomy Builder can also be used in its minimized state. This is especially useful if you have a small monitor. To do this, simply click on one of the circles to zoom to that particular region. You have the ability to scroll around the anatomy map by clicking and dragging. Similarly, you can look at the group layout too. The gender switch located in the upper right hand corner of the anatomy builder is the only way to manually change the gender of the scene. So when this is switched to female, for instance, only female objects will be loaded. For more information about cyber anatomy, be sure to visit our website at www.cyber-anatomy.com. For more tutorials, be sure to visit our YouTube website at www.youtube.com forward slash cyber anatomy.